Welcome to Three Films in a Podcast, the show where Destiny brought together three friends to enhance each other's cinematic journey by watching three new movies in a series of themed rounds. There is no claim of ownership on any film footage used in this episode, as all film footage is owned in its entirety by the copyright holders. And just like every car in Too Fast, Too Furious, this podcast contains spoilers. Enjoy! What's up, everybody, and welcome to Three Films and a Podcast. My name is Ben Lawhorn. With me, as always, is Tyler Beck. Uh, unfortunately, our other co-host, Matt Weiler, couldn't be here this evening. But um, hopefully, I think you might be joining us later just to, to chat, so that'll be awesome. For those of you that are new here, welcome to the Movie Club. For those of you returning, welcome back to the Movie Club. Uh, we are excited to have so many guests tonight. We have a lot of Clubhouse members, a lot of returning guests. We have a first-timer, too, which I'm stoked on. So welcome, everybody. We have our defending champ, Annie, who's here, um, ready to just rub it in everyone's face. I think she has a title belt somewhere around there. Uh, Ethan, Beth Ann, Adam, and our first-time guest, Jessica, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. What's up? This is going to be fun. So, yeah, um, we're going to do, like, social media plugs uh, halfway through, round, um, right after round two. So, uh, but yeah, most of these people have joined us on previous episodes and or they have their own podcast. So go check them out. Um, yeah, we'll have it all in the show notes. So today we're doing a little podcast. We're doing one of my favorite things. We're doing a movie draft. Uh, this works, you know, a lot like a fantasy sports draft. We're going to do like the, the serpentine style of like one through seven, seven through one, all that kind of stuff. And today's theme, as you can see from our background, well, these are fresh. These are fresh <laughs> tomatoes, but we're talking about rotten tomatoes. So that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, we are going to be using four rounds to pick our best of the worst, all the movies that are critically rotten, um, but that we still like. We're going to be coming up with our four favorites, hopefully, unless someone else takes them. <laughs> so these are all movies that are under 60%, um, but one of our movies will have to be under 30% because we didn't want them all to be like in the 50s. We want something that's like kind of a critical stinker. So um, I'm excited to get into that. But before we start the draft, I want to talk about some of like people's favorites that barely miss the cut like that stuff that's in the 60 to whatever percent range i'll start out with mine real quick it's the bling ring uh it was at 60 percent. it like just literally is the closest you could get without me being able to pick it so unfortunately i won't be able to talk about the bling ring tonight but uh, i'm curious for you guys if you have any others that uh barely miss bethann do you do you have one that you wanted to pick that you weren't able to make i have one but it's 59 percent. oh so, so you might take it yeah, and I'm actually currently looking at a list because someone forgot to read the outline. Oh, okay. Um, and that's on me. Would someone like me to move on to someone no, else? No, no, no. No, okay. no, no. They gave me a list and it's like 59, 59, 59, 160 in a movie I've never fucking heard of. So, all right, here we go. You Might Be the Killer 2018 starring Fran Kranz. That can't Allison, be a name. Hannigan. That's not real. Sixty percent. It's about a what? synopsis. What is this movie called? You might be the killer, Ethan. Directed mm. uh, <laughs> to me. Oh, Frank Hans. <laughs> uh, synopsis: A camp counselor suffering from memory loss finds himself in the middle of a horror movie massacre. Okay. <laughs> All right. That sounds intense. And he's holding a machete. Have you seen this movie? This Fuck is a movie no. that you've seen? No. Oh, okay. You're just going off this one I literally, that was on your list. Literally, <laughs> you're like, that sounds I, good. If if I just spoiled a movie that no one has heard of, <laughs> like, I don't know what astral plane you're on at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Parallel universe shit. Well, uh, I feel like we need to do a round on Fran Kranz because with a name like that, I mean, I got to know what <laughs> nice. else Fran's been up to. Wow, he yeah. was in, Fran, Fran was in Donnie Darko. Let's just put that out oh, in really? the open right now. Really? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. He, he his letter his letterbox profile says uh, Donnie Darko, Cabin in the Woods, Training Day, and The Village. Matchstick Men. This guy's been around. We just have never never Fran, noticed. Fran's. All right. Okay, I like that. Uh, Paul, how about monsters. you? Do you have something that <laughs> yeah. fell over sixty percent? Unfortunately, I got this link like uh, 30 seconds before I, I came in here, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I am not prepared. Adam. Cool, all right. Uh, let's see. Anyone else who wants to go? Does someone have one? I'll go. Cool. I really thought this was going to be under 60, and I was kind of excited that it wasn't, but it's at a 68%. One of my favorite movies of all time. I probably quote it once a week. 
and that is Dumb and Dumber. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Very That's a cool. solid pick. Yeah, that feels like That's something good. that would be under 60 critically. Right? But I'm I was, so, I was really surprised. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's funny looking, doing all the research for this. Like, we're going to be talking, well, we're going to be apologizing a lot for, for shitty movies. <laughs> but there is a couple of genres that stuck out that were just over and over. It's either big action or yeah. some over the top comedy that Hard people comedy. just yes. half the people didn't get the humor or something like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good call. We're, I have a lot of comedies on my list, so yeah, Me too. all over. <laughs> uh, Tyler, I, mean, do you I have remember one? when? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh sorry, um, go ahead. I was just gonna say I remember when Dumb and Dumber came out. Like there was such a big fuss. I remember hearing that it was it got zero stars, like at the, whatever, oh, really? whatever movie critics or whatever, it got like zero out of zero. It was like the worst movie ever. But <laughs> I mean, I was what, 10 yeah. or whatever. When uh, it came I mean, out, so it was like right in my wheelhouse. I'm like, <laughs> this, great. This, that was like my first introduction to like, it's you post know, the Ace, difference Ace between Ventura like critical too. and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, this I just, is a I, masterpiece. I don't know what you guys are talking <laughs> about. Yeah, what everybody's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I learned at an early age to not trust the critics. I mean, there's kind so of many fun. things um, <laughs> I laughed at in there, but I still think him walking out and saying, we landed on the moon for yeah, some reason was like just one of the funniest things <laughs> to me at that age. It's like, what the fuck is what he talking about? Like, that cracked me up so much. Okay. Sorry hey, to cut you off, please. <laughs> no, that's great. So at, at this point, like, so Point Break qualifies for what we're talking about, but I'm like, I have to stop picking this for everything. <laughs> like, it's that's my honest and true pick uh, for this question would be Point Break. But um, for my official selection, I'm going to go with, I'm looking at a list here. I'm going to go with okay. Dodgeball. Anytime that movie's on, like if I'm ever, for whatever reason, scrolling Love through it. channels, you know, uh, and then if that Solid. movie's on, like I'm always going to land on it and love it. Um, it's just, uh, there's it's, I mean, it's a lot like dumb and dumber. It's Ventura, what we were talking about. It's one of those broad mm-hmm. comedies yeah. like Adam was talking about. Like, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just good fun stuff. And yeah, the critics, man, you can't no trust funny them. bone amongst them. Uh, Annie, do you have one for this? Yeah. I, I don't know that this is like my favorite thing, but in searching for movies for my list, this came up as a 61% er, so didn't quite make it, but that is a goofy movie. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. That's a, it's a classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, I think very classic and very, very timely for like our general generation of people speaking for myself at least. So like, um, yeah, I'm not surprised it's there, but I'm a fan. Well, you know, Powerline has been has made a comeback in the TikTok, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, TikTok generation. Well, I was just yeah. gonna so say it was under it was under yeah. sixty at one time. Yeah, mm. I was gonna say that's Come on my list up. when mm-hmm. I looked this up like two weeks ago. It qualified, so maybe that TikTok crowd got on Rotten Tomatoes oh, and bumped it up. Wow, that's funny. It wasn't like fifty nine, and now it's a sixty one. I was like, oh, okay, well, cool. I guess I'll cross that off my list. All these TikTokers, yeah, Ugh, those famous TikTokers that are also critics. like <laughs> yeah, certified yeah. Uh, Rotten Tomato <laughs> critics. <laughs> oh man, uh, Ethan, I didn't ask you yours yet, did I? No, I haven't done mine yet. Well, you I want have... to go last, though, right? Yeah, I have a pretty big list that I was just gonna like blow through because there are just like, he thinks he runs countless, the show, so he wants yeah. countless number of movies. So we're position. here in service of Ethan. So <laughs> he loves uh, better Walter, mid. do you want to do yours before Ethan takes over? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still searching. I'm like frantically searching. So <laughs> just pick one from Ethan's list. I think. He's yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can just let him borrow one. That'll make you can just happy, second so. one of mine. Okay, all of these are under 70%. Uh, if you want to know, I'm sure you can look them up. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, Spider-Man 3, Lord of War, The Terminal, War Dogs. I love War Dogs. Uh, Reality Bites, Cloud Atlas, Joker, Ben, big Joker fan. <laughs> is there another Ben here? I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, Shutter Island, 68%. Absolute Madness. Uh, Happy Gilmore, uh, White Ooh, Noise, wow. ex- Extraction. Speaking of, you know, Extraction 2 just came out a couple of days ago. Um, Pineapple Express, Army of the Dead, Thor Love and Thunder, Cocaine Bear, uh, Sharper, Ben. We recovered, we covered that on our pod. We did. Uh, Magic Mike XXL, which I, I think is actually pretty good. But I was afraid. And then the two, my two real picks that I that I wanted to say for this are House of Gucci at 62%. That thing is, is a certified banger. Ridley Scott, just excellent film. 
and Tenet, 69%. Um, oh, wow. I love, I love wow. Tenet. So, yeah, kind of nice. crazy. I, I don't know. I was just surprised at a lot of those, so I just kind of like kept writing them down. It's awesome. Um, if I had to pick one from that list, I'm going to go the Terminal, the Tom Hanks movie. Um, nice pick. It's an, really? it's an under, yeah. it's an absolutely underrated Tom Hanks film. Big underrated. He has movie. this amazing accent throughout, and like classic Tom Hanks. After 30 minutes, you don't even realize you're watching Tom <laughs> Hanks anymore, and he's still that everyman. But he basically lives in this airport as an immigrant because there's a war going on in the middle of his country, so he can't leave, but he can't go back home either. Um, it's a really unique uh, movie, and uh, love that. Love nice. that one. I think that's Spielberg, yeah. actually. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've seen and a lot of his, but that's a Spielberg I missed. At, that came out when we were working at the airport, and I was like, I feel so seen. It's a movie about my <laughs> life. I never leave the fucking airport. <laughs> we're always here. We live here. Uh, yeah, well, those are some awesome selections. Unfortunately, none of them will make our list tonight, but... Um, Ethan, thank you for all forty of yours. That yeah, really no contributed. Problem. Yeah, just coming, coming prepped. You know, just you know how I do. He's the no, researcher of the podcast. You know, yeah, he is unpaid indeed. intern. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, me and, before me we and use, Bo Burnham. <laughs> yeah, <she, laughs> we got to figure out our order for the draft here. Um, so this will be the most suspenseful part of the evening. Oh boy, I believe I'm nervous. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> I think we got everyone on here, so let's see what we get. This, I mean, this is make or break. This is it right here. This yeah. Is our, this is everything. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my son of a bitch. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Best culture. Best culture. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. So if, if Adam wins, broke. then I think there's some <laughs> sort of like advantage to going first. Have there you guys nice had enough data to track? I don't know. That'd be this a good thing a to good figure question. out. Like it's a good spot because you get exactly what you want first, but then he's got but, to wait for like thirteen right. more movies. And then, but if yeah. he wins, do I have to send him my shirt? Like I just sent him <laughs> yeah. my used yeah. shirt unwashed, like the traveling pants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> just one. I mean, you are a one of one right now. So if you win again, it's all you. All right, Tyler, <laughs> second place. Uh. The real question is, is when she wins again, do we have to send another shirt? <laughs> Two shirts, yeah. <laughs> Two shirts? Yeah. So can just wear Stone both. Cold's holding another beer in his hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this right, is not, not looking promising. Adam, Tyler, Beth Ann, <laughs> here's the middle. Let's see where we end up. Oh, all right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. I'll take that. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to be first, you want to be last, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't love my spot here, but what are you going to do? Well, Ethan, you might get last, so. I Again, collusion, rigged. I don't collusion. know what to tell you, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> In fifth. And now we figure out the rest. Man, here we the go. universe is punishing some certain people. They really are. It looks like it's Ethan. I just, I just love a good, I love a good challenge. What can I say? Yes, you do. Wow. That's what, that's what I want to look up. Is how many times you've double been in pick last. is invaluable. It has, though it has happened quite a bit. I'm pretty sure I picked last on the last draft. That's why I'm a little sus right now. Can that we all sense. get like our own stat, like baseball cards? We should. Yes. Like, yes. Draft <laughs> cards. We'll get the intern on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. All right. I am, I am not happy right now. Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> we'll denote that on your card. You have six was picks, not so happy dwell on getting that. last pick. Oh, next to it. <laughs> Ethan, unhappy. Oh, like, six picks in this draft? That's an eternity. I know. We'll see you in half an hour. Um, Paul Jr., <laughs> <laughs> you are kicking us off. So, what are you going Gosh, with first? I was not expecting to go first. I, I honestly, it's it's because there's a lot of uh, strategy here because there's yeah. so many sh so many shitty ones under thirty percent that taking the thirty percent one might be pretty it's a big play. But <laughs> yeah, not with the first pick. I don't think so. I am gonna go yeah, with uh, I'm gonna go with Tony Scott's Man on Fire. Oh, I figured that that, that, wow. that one that is going to I figured that's out of all the my top five that I would love to have, um, that's the one I could see going in the next uh yeah. twelve uh twelve things. So I'm gonna choose uh that that movie. It's such a brutal, heavy movie. I cannot believe it is thirty eight percent. It's Same. one of my favorite Denzel movies. How can that movie be that low? But it is kind of in the vein of, you know, um, 
Michael Bay type of action movie, I guess, to some degree, but it's so well made. And both the Scott brothers are amazing. Uh, Tony in particular, um, you know, and Denzel is always good. So I'm doing that. We love our Creasy Bear, that's for sure. Wow. Nice. I love that movie. Wow. I can't believe. Yeah, I can't believe that A, that movie was. Yeah, I just can't believe that movie was below, below 60%. That's that's nuts. And it's like 38. It's not that far from being the below 30 one, which is crazy. crazy. Like that movie is yeah. when I think of like a torture scene or whatever, that's the movie yeah. I think of. Like there's been plenty of great ones in cinema, but the idea of like cutting someone's fingers off while they're duct taped to a steering wheel and then wow. like cauterizing it with the cigarette lighter. <laughs> it's like insane to me. I'm gonna watch yeah. this I think movie. about that all the time. Well, it's I love it so much. It's a it's brutal so movie, good. but it's really good. Yeah, Ethan, you've so never good. seen Man on Fire? It's right up your alley, dude. You're going to love it. I'm stoked. You're going to be jealous I took it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Maybe I won't watch sure it for a while then. Maybe I'll hold out. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait for a little so bit. There is a surprising number of movies that I love that are under 60%. And I don't know what that says about me or like, <laughs> I don't know if that says something about me or like critics. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So this is actually way tougher than I thought it was going to be. I think think i'll be able to get the one my number one pick later i don't think anyone's gonna take it if i'm wrong oh gosh what famous I last sad? words um, tyler famous yeah. last words so <laughs> careful i'm gonna take one that i think is gonna go uh pretty quickly it's from 2008 uh it's a little movie called Step Brothers. damn it that's another yes. all-time i, I knew that would classic. be yours i knew it would be yours it was never gonna last to seven <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I figured Ben would take that. I figured Ethan would take that. Um, I figured. I just figured that one would go. So I really hope my actual pick is still here in a half an hour or however long it'll take to get back to me. (laughs) Yeah, this stuff's hard because, like, yeah, just I don't know. There are so many like really good ones that just qualify for this. Step Brothers would be so good. I, I watched. I rewatched Step Brothers uh, a couple of weeks ago, and my like number one line reading from that movie is, you know what gets my dick hard? Helping out my friends. Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking kills me every time. Yeah, yeah, unreal I line. <laughs> you know, like, I I, I, look, this I, is... Will, Will Ferrell had such a run there with these types of comedies, obviously, right? And so at that point, I think I was maybe a, a little too, like, oh, I was just kind of overcooked with Will Ferrell movies at that point. So the first yeah. time I saw it, I was like, yeah, that was funny, but it was so ridiculous. Mm, totally. And th- and now on rewatch, it is so fucking genius. Um, <laughs> it is it is so ridiculous. And um, just putting those two in a room and just letting them go, that's, that's all a movie needs to yeah. be. <laughs> so. It's so funny. I mean, I genuinely love this movie, but it's for sure a Twitter pick. Like, I'm trying to pick something that's going to be <laughs> grab it on twitter you know what i mean i really want to win one i come in dead last every time i at least have to like advance to the next round you know you gotta do it Catherine hahn is also amazing in that movie (laughs) so good in that movie movie. (laughs) i mean i mean the the whole cast like yeah adam scott (laughs) that's true exactly that works for every single movie oh man that's a really solid pick that's a good pick all right beth ann hi do you have any accompanying hats or anything like that to go with this pick? No, I don't, unfortunately. <laughs> like your but, Super Mario one? All right. But, Ben, I'm just going to have to say, go ahead and get your um, Venmo out because I'm going to choose Marvel Internals. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this it. draft is fucked. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting because we're all talking about movies we liked, and I may have misread it because... That movie I like to an extent, and then the rest of them are just like not great. So yeah. I'm doing some research here on the site right now. <laughs> but I will say that movie is 75% there. Mm-hmm. And then it gets too long, and then I get bored with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. that's my synopsis that's... of it. Kumail Nanjiani was a perfect casting. Yeah, and his so sidekick dude, like that, I love that dude. I forget his name yeah. in the movie. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He cracks me up. And I think it's one of the coolest, like, examples of speed in a movie, like, like showing, like, super speed in someone. I love yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's really cool. so good. Well, that's a great pick. I guess that means that I've got to go on to mine um, coming up here, halfway spot. I am shocked that this qualifies. Because if you would have told me 
I but there's a movie. You're going to take this, really? That has Brad Pitt. <laughs> it has Margot Robbie. You're really going to do this right now, Ben? From the director of Whiplash. I will never come on your podcast and ever again. First Man and La La Land. Like you haven't even seen. I, I, have you seen First Man? Three hours and nine Don't minutes of Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. Like, how in the world oh does this God. qualify? It blows my mind. You know, I feel like. I have to pick Babylon. Oh, yeah. The it's high right will rise. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we will. We will. The, the high, yes. We Thank you, will. No, yes. no, no, no. Babylon is the way to go. Easy number one pick. Um, probably the best movie that's going to get taken tonight. So um, super, super excited to have that on my team. Uh, one, two, punch. Man, one, that, two. that's Eternals brutal. Babylon. You went straight in. I'm Just so sorry, it, so. <laughs> You're Listen, I'm so sorry. Ethan, I don't even I feel, know. I don't even know what to say. You're you saying it's a bad on. pick, Ethan. I mean, <laughs> this I'm is a good pick, right? It's <laughs> I mean, four spot. It's pretty good. Look, I, hope I friendship can recover. I g- <laughs> look, I give you credit because I drafted Mission Impossible when I had only ever seen one of them, and that turned out to be a great pick. And I can't say, have you ever seen it? Because it doesn't apply. So. Whatever, I guess. So I don't know. More <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you here. <laughs> I feel like I may have locked in Abe's vote with this and I'm very excited. It's paying off already, I can tell. Okay. The slander campaign begins now. I mean, I come on. Wait. I will I will call you out. The hive will denounce a Babylon fake Hive Babylon lover, trust me. I picked it. I mean, they're gonna be so happy I picked, I picked it, you know. It. What are you gonna yeah, what are you gonna do? Wow. Uh, I'm livid. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! I'm excited, uh, Jessica. What what are you taking with your first selection? I, I think I'm going to go in with my under thirty for my first one Ooh, because nice. I don't want to take it. Smart. I almost fell off my chair at work when I found out that this was under thirty percent. Hook. God damn. Uh, in yeah. at Serves you right, Ben. There we go. I know. This was, honestly, this is my I number one two. pick. Damn my it! Two. That was what I was. That was the thing. That was what I was arguing with myself for the number yeah. one yeah. because I couldn't believe it. it like you're doing it Jessica you're doing yeah. it, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well there you are Jessica yeah <laughs> honestly like I that was walking in tonight like this was my game plan like take hook first under 30 percent get it done yeah. and then Paltrow's like I don't know if we have to do it the first round it's like you know what Paltrow's right I don't know that we need to so I'll just wait yeah, but hook's <laughs> different. Different. there you go hook's like very hook different is- Hook is very different. Hook is easily a first round pick, whether regardless of its. I agree. You know, yeah. Yeah. Run. yeah. Yeah. Such, I agree. There's so I, many. Re- oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, please. Oh, I was just going to say there's so many renditions of Peter Pan, right? Like we've <laughs> all seen a thousand of them. And I remember I remember going to the theater and watching this for the first time. I think I saw it a few times. Dustin Hoffman is an amazing Captain Hook, and Robin Williams oh, is always so good. good. So, um, and again, Spielberg. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lois this is Spielberg tangential movie. Babylon slander. This is unbelievable. We're just like, yeah, <laughs> Hook would have been a first rounder. It's like, yeah. it didn't get, you didn't. <laughs> just catching strays. Uh, no, Hook's awesome. I just got in my head about it. It's like, yeah, it'll probably be around, but no, it's a, it's a definite <laughs> first rounder. Um, also, shout out to our friend MJ, Beth Ann. Um, he and I had a little uh, exchange on Twitter last night because he recently watched Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, nice. And his <laughs> opening line was, um, this movie is like if Guardians Volume One or Hook was actually good. And I was like, hold on, oh, hold on a sec. That's a great <laughs> MJ moment. I know it was. Ooh. It was good. It was a hot take. And I said, this is a really bad look for me because I just recently posted my top sixteen movies of all time, and both of those fall in there. <laughs> this is a real tough look for me right now. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons is better, but and, th- and then Babylon's um, in there too, right? In, yeah, Babylon's yeah. like seventeen. Seen. You can see the top God. of it. It's just like barely not there. But uh, yeah, I told MJ I'd call it out because I knew this was definitely getting picked tonight. Oh, wow. But that just broke my heart to see that on his review. But MJ, shout out. Uh, all right, where are we at now? You're at Annie. First pick, defending champ. Ooh, I was gonna go with Hook for my first pick. I will be honest. So I think we all would have fought over that. My first pick in that case is going to be Life Aquatic. Oh, wow. Wow. No, a, Annie. That was the one I was trying to decide on. Oh, oh regret. 57. That's wow. Okay. Was that I'm your second one you. that you think no one's going to get? 
That was I was hoping that one would slide. There's so many good movies. I was just hoping that one might just be missed, you know? Yeah, and Wes, yeah. Wes Anderson doesn't usually get below 60% a lot, I would imagine. Yeah. So got to grab it while you can. I figured totally. that would go. Yeah. Yeah. That's this is my favorite Wes Anderson, too. So the fact that Me it's too. falling under 60 is nuts. It's probably the one I've seen the most times. Yeah. Yeah. Same. And definitely the soundtrack I listen to the most. Mm-hmm. Seal George playing all those Bowie covers. Oh, yeah. I love that. Awesome. I love that album so much. So happy for you, Annie. <laughs> Ethan, are you still with us? Are you here? I'm ba- I'm I'm hanging on. I'm yeah. barely. Like I'm check on barely. <laughs> yeah, how you we doing? Gotta, <laughs> gonna do a lifeline check here. Look, how are we doing? Do we need to have a check in? Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ben. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. Show we haven't recorded our podcast for this week, and it might just oh, not happen. True. I don't know. That's true. Hey, that Ethan, true. I'm just gonna let you know right now. I don't give a shit. I don't, give, <laughs> I don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> That's really... Clear. <laughs> see, look, I established that attitude very early on, several drafts ago, and that is proving to be the attitude that we that I should have, I guess. Um, okay, I'm at the turn here. So, seventh pick, seven rounds in. Okay, so obviously Babylon was my number one pick. Step Brothers was my number hmm. two pick. Um, oh, yeah. I am going to go with... Uh, I can't... I'm. I'm pretty shocked nobody took this i feel like this again like this is a big a big movie on this list national treasure i'm gonna go with national oh, treasure at 46 percent critic score you could have it dang okay all right i'll take it um <laughs> look they steal the declaration of independence what i mean come on that's an epic movie uh and i'll get the cage i'll get get the the cage fans hopefully that amounts to something so i'll take national treasure and then since we've opened up and I, and I have to wait 15 more or whatever, 13 more picks before it comes back to me, um, I'm going to take my under 30 and I'm going to go with Along Came Polly. Now, this movie isn't super great, but Philip Seymour Hoffman playing basketball in this movie is super great. And that yeah. is enough for me to pick Along Came Polly. That is just like immaculate uh attire immaculate line readings um when he sharts his pants like it's just incredible stuff from psh all the way around um so that's gonna be my under 30 pick and i feel pretty good about it and now i just sit and wait i guess yeah Yeah, that's a great pick i love that movie actually (laughs) i think it's super underrated it's your basic kind of ben stiller jen dunford anderson rom-com but all the side characters hank azaria ps like you're talking about so many good funny bits in that in that movie and uh no i, I honestly missed that one and i am sad you you stole it so nice job I know. Nice. all right I one approval one disapproval from poulter i'll take it <laughs> one <and> one. <laughs> is alec baldwin the boss in that like when they're at the urals yeah. and he yeah. like rubs his earlobe or something afterwards <laughs> yeah. so fucking weird oh man it's funny though yeah I will say I kind of felt like I heard you shart when I picked Babylon, so this was very <laughs> maybe I did. Who knows? Is, who knows? <laughs> Yet to be disclosed. To very hard to say. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, so I'm not H24 fan. Hot Summer Nights wasn't as bad as some people say, in my opinion, and that definitely qualifies. I think that's sitting at 44 mm. percent right now uh, with our with our boy Timmy Shams. Maybe Matt would Ooh. take this if Matt was here because we all know he loves a, a Tim Shams, but unfortunately he's not. Uh, Annie, we're back over to you. Oh, I'm stressing out because I also didn't read the outline. So therefore, and I played it cool this whole time. Very cool. But I I didn't grab a movie under 30%. Uh, I found one, but I, like, I'm like i feeling confident that no one will pick it, which I know is exactly what happened to you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really believe it. So I'm trying to decide if I, I say that. Or not. I think I'm going to go with something higher. Look, I'm Annie, s- if you want a side deal, if you need some information, I'm happy to give it to you in exchange <laughs> okay. Okay. for something else. I see what's happening. <sighs> no. <laughs> wow, no, just, just a, no. Just a hard no. no. I just, like, I'd have the to play out how help. that would go in my head. There's too many unknowns. <laughs> nah, Ethan's wheeling and dealing here. <laughs> I, I got to claw like, my way back to my the top. shitty ones. <laughs> For one of your good ones, <laughs> yeah, I don't. And he's like, "Look at my shirt. I don't need any help. Like, we're good. I'm wow. the champ." Okay, I'm gonna go with Jumanji. Mm. Oh. oh no, <laughs> you're just picking I off my picks, Annie. That's good. That was one of mine. That was nice. on my list. It's yeah. at a fifty-two percent. Dang, like OG Robin Williams. Oh, yeah, ninety-five. Nice. That Damn, movie scared the shit pick. out of me when I was really little, but I loved it. I was yeah. Like, like that's what is solid. your what is y'all's like mo- like most iconic 
you know, moment or set piece in that? Is it the monsoon? Is it the monkeys? I feel like they're all iconic. It's definitely the monsoon scene. Yeah. Yeah. It has Even just like the, the lion in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. I think I'm the monkeys just because of the like amount, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it's very overwhelming. So but that movie's intense. What was happening when they were stuck in the car? Was that the monkeys? What was that? I don't remember. Or was exactly. there bugs? Been a there was mosquitoes that were like punching sure, their way through the ceiling of a car. Anyway. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't remember this movie, we're pretending to like it. Yeah. <laughs> <As much laughs> as <we do. laughs> well, I think Jumanji's a great pick. Uh, let's see. Jessica, after oh, stealing man. a hook from everybody. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what is so your that second was my, pick? That was, my, that was my nostalgia. I have these broken down by feeling. Oh, okay. nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like I'm going to throw this in because of the time of year that it is. And it is one of my favorite feel good movies. Damn it. And it, it is at 43%. And it is Too Wong Fu. Thanks oh. for everything, uh, Jerry Newmar. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Good pick. Great movie. Great movie. The Swayze dressed up as a lady. It's wonderful. Uh, but, the conversation that he has with Dr. Channing at the end, like, is just like when he tells her that he loves her and like she says that back, like there's not another heartfelt moment in a movie <laughs> that I can think of than that. I i yeah, I haven't seen that one yet, but knowing that Dr. Channing's in it. She's John, awesome. John Leguizamo John also Leguizamo. amazing yeah. in it. Mm-hmm. I actually it's, cannot it... see Anthony Ramos without thinking of John Leguizamo. <laughs> Oh, and Wesley Snipes, too. Nice. Yes, he's so good in that, too. It, and that's that, another one that's like a real disparity between critics because the critic vote is 43, but the audience score is 71. Mm-hmm. Like, this is very well received. That's I feel like that's a lot of the comedies, though, are going to kind of fall into that. Wonderful pick. Great choice. Well, I'm scared now, so I'm going to do my under 30 because <laughs> my number one is gone. Um, fear-mongering this entire, entire draft. Fear, fear-mongering, indeed. But... <laughs> I feel like I have to pick this one um, because whenever I tell somebody what I just did with Babylon, they're going to be like, what a story, Mark. <laughs> Tell me about your sex life. Uh, so I'm going with The Room at 25%. Oh, you got to nice. do it. I feel like I, I need to nice take job. The Room. Nice job. Um, wow. Uh, just the, This for me is the best of the worst. Uh <laughs> It's still hands down our most popular video uh, for three films in a podcast. The three of us watched it and we did a reaction video. (laughs) (laughs) And it's just like the thing that we still get comments on like every single week. Um, So if you're looking for a good time and in a a legal way to watch the room with all the sex scenes blurred out, uh, please feel free to go watch that. (laughs) What a, oh man, what a movie that is. Has everyone here seen the room or has anyone seen like the disaster artists? Oh yeah. 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 Disaster Artist is great. It's so yeah. good. I love, I love the Disaster Artist. Yeah, I love I love both of those things. So. It's, re- it's really depressing, actually. It's really funny, but like by the three quarters <laughs> through Disaster Artist, so I'm just depressing. like, this is just sad. <laughs> mm-hmm. this is, yeah, it's Poor so guys. Is- <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. Though I loved their campaign. They put up a phone number on a billboard in LA, and you can call Tommy Wiseau, and it was James oh, yeah. Franco. Like, that was awesome. Yeah, it was cool campaigning. And this will come out after, but if you're watching this live or within the next week, uh, on June 27th, for the first time, they're showing The Room nationwide in theaters, which is Sick. pretty oh exciting. Oh, yeah, Tommy, get that bag. Got to get the money. Because otherwise, I've... I mean, if you want to see it, you've got to go wherever Tommy is, wherever he's traveling. So this is a I good be... opportunity if you haven't seen it to go check it out. I believe they're doing it to promo his second movie that's coming out in next oh, month yeah. in just a few weeks or something film? some shark or something yeah, he's, yeah he made a new one yeah. the shark i don't i don't know what it's called but yeah it's a big it's one like, <laughs> it's honestly something like big shark or something along those <laughs> yeah. lines like it's a super creative title. I mean, hell yeah he's got a built-in way to finance any movie he wants to make now because he can just <laughs> release the room in theaters everyone will go you yeah. know watch it or whatever to laugh at it he can finance his next movie he's got a he's got a good thing going he figured it out you know he's genius yeah. Yeah, I love it. All right. Well, All right. I'm happy if I couldn't get hooked to get that. Uh, Beth Ann, what are you taking with your second pick? So, if you all anything are off of Ethan's list, 
Unfortunately not. Uh, okay. um, if you're all wondering what I'm doing, I literally chose dog shit movies because I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know we were talking about ones that we actually liked. So I'm literally doing I'm literally doing research on the that side. Is... So I'm listening and also researching right. at the same time. So this is all decided within five minutes. Um, I'm going to go next night at the museum. Cause that is just wow, a nice. fun ass film. <laughs> like the one. second and third one, eh? But like we have this perfect Rob Robin Williams as like a good Theodore Roosevelt. Things are coming alive. Like I just have good memories of it. So we're definitely going into nostalgic pick on this. I love that. Movie. I see you're it's you're stealing so my Ben Stiller vibe, or what's the deal here? <laughs> Ethan, not everything has to be about you. Yeah, always the victim. <laughs> it's always yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every time. I mean, I just I'm telling you, I'm extra salty done. right now. It's <laughs> not at you, just with life. Four of those Night of the Museum movies. I didn't realize it was that much of a franchise. Yeah. It's they made a lot. I have a sneaking suspicion yeah, all four of them movie. might qualify. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tyler, how are you following up, Step Brothers? Gosh, Ben, that's a great question. That's a great, great question. host. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to decide, do I do my 30% pick or do I not? Um, yeah, I'm going to do the 30% pick because I genuinely can't believe it's still here. I also can't believe that it qualifies. Um, even though we just covered it recently, it's a movie from 1995 with 24% on Rotten Tomatoes and it's Empire Records, which is a first watch for me within the last six months instantly became one of my favorites. I adore this movie and I'm. I am shocked and appalled that it's available below 30%. That's crazy. Right? That was yeah. one of my below 30s, too. Yep, that, that was on my list as well. Dang. Not on my list, Tyler. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, have you seen it? Are you sure? Uh, can I can I have a qualm with this? Because are you positive that it's under 30%, Tyler? It was 29 oh. when I checked the other day. I, look, Whoa. I don't want to be that guy. I'm just Ooh. trying to adhere to rules that Ben okay. so peacefully set out on this pod. Be the guy. I know, it's okay. I had it at 24% when I... You when can- I- made my list i'm so. okay with that i don't have a problem i just want to you know i just want the truth to be out there <laughs> i love a good quibble i love I would, a good quibble i'm usually the one doing it i want i want the, the group to vote i'll i will accept my fate this is a democracy i'm with jessica i saw it at 29 yeah well. it was at 29 when i saw it so I vote okay, yes. so I've set myself up again to be ganged up on this you is know what? Right. <laughs> i love this i will get, take I your it. side on this i will take your side on this but we're yeah. outvoted, so it doesn't matter. Well, I appreciate the support, Beth Ann. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, man. Okay. Good pick. Empire Records. So it's, I get it? Yeah. I mean, it's all yours. Yeah. I, I guess yeah. we'll throw it in for the under 30. Ready for me. Yeah. For the record, I was with you too, Ethan, but... Really okay. Walk after after there, the yeah. fact, Ben. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You know, I got to just throw it out there while I can. This movie is amazing, though. Uh, it's almost the shirt that I wore tonight. Because, but I didn't want to like give it away, you know, that it was there. But uh, man, if you haven't seen Empire Records, please go check that movie out. Like, there's there's just so much quotable shit in here. Like, so many of these movies, I think, have quotable things in there. Um, My name's yeah. not Evan Warren. <laughs> His name's not fucking Warren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it! I love it. All right, Adam, we have finally made it back to you. We've made it to the turn. So we'll do we'll do your first pick, and then we'll let everyone do their plugs before we get back to round three. And then I get another one when we come back? Yep, exactly. So we'll I get back-to-back back picks, right? Okay. Back-to-back. Back. Well, none of mine got taken except for Hook, of course. Um, and all nice. of mine under 30, they're all shitty. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... One of them will be there, so I'm going to take two that I that I uh, that I just want on my list. I'm not playing, uh, you know, the Twitter audience or anything. But uh, my number two is going to be Wet Hot American Summer. God damn, uh, nice, thirty eight percent. Oh, nice. That's a really um, good pick. T- uh, such a quotable movie. It is totally ridiculous and over the top. Um, but if you have that sense of humor. It blows me away that this is 38% because this is me and my friends have quoted this for years. It's just all the guys, all the people from the state, a bunch of Mm -hmm. SNL salams. I saw this at Sundance and like the whole cast was there. And we were just like, what did we just see? Uh, Because it's so ridiculous. 
but the uh the lines the the talking can like the, yeah. the guy from you know just like a, there's just there's so much going on and the fact that they're supposed to be in some teen camp and they're all like in their 30s <laughs> yeah like it, it's just such a ridiculous movie one of my favorite comedies <laughs> i couldn't believe it was an option so going with yeah. that one that's great a pick. great pick yeah the early bradley cooper and yep. amy poehler so right. good we actually have uh, some artwork at our house here and it's of Paul Rudd's character from this. Oh. Um, so his whole, like, we picked that up and just like, yeah, it's oh, so it's just one of the best things. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. I think my favorite thing from that movie is towards the end when they talk about meeting up in like 20 years or something like that, you know, <laughs> just like whatever. And then yeah. one of the characters is like, oh, I have something at like two o'clock that day. <laughs> just <laughs> like, it's just insane. Just I forget exactly what wall. it is, but it's off so the wall funny. Sense of humor. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's so quotable. And yeah, they did end up making that uh that show. They ended up making that into a show on Netflix the 20 years later. So oh. and now they're right. now they're older and fatter too. So it's even funnier. <laughs> just unaddressed. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's a man, that's an awesome pick. Well, let's uh let's get to everyone's plugs now that we made it through the halfway point. Um Let's see, Ethan. Throw you. You're gonna throw it to you first. I want you to. Yeah. Throw me a bone here. I Let's throw you a bone. I'm really go nice first. of you. Um, yeah. yeah, 24 minutes of 824. That's the podcast that I co-host with Ben, who fucking stole Babylon. That's actually how I'm going to introduce you on the next show. Ben, <laughs> okay. from now the, on, <laughs> the fucking guy who stole Babylon. Babylon thief. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, go check it out. Anywhere you can uh, listen to podcasts. Uh, we also have a Patreon that we're covering Mission Impossible right now. Uh, and then we'll be doing some really fun film franchises over there as well. So uh, patron, uh, patreon.com backslash 24 minutes of not a 24. It's really fun because we have a 24 minute timer and we try to beat it. And it's a lot harder than you think it is. Um, yeah. It's a blast. It's really fun to watch. And then the last thing that I'll plug is I just started a, su- a sub stack. So you can subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, it's called Film Bestie. Uh, just Google it and uh, you should be able to find it every Monday morning. You'll get a newsletter just about my my ramblings about movies, um, some A24 stuff, some streaming picks of the week, uh, first time watch that I had that week, some really fun stuff. So yeah, uh, any support with that would be really cool. It's a really, I really think that's an awesome thing, by the way. Yeah, thank you. 100%. I'm excited Thanks. about that. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah it's that's a lot of really fun. Cool. If you need a guest review on Babylon, just let me know. I'm happy to write one up for you. So I can just uh, tell 2,000 words on Babylon from a diehard. Oh, yeah, easily. That's just Brad Pitt. Yeah, you can do that. No problem. Uh, Annie, do you want to give plugs, tell people where they can find you? Sure. Um, so I am a co host of the podcast Movie Mavens, where my co host and I watch and review two movies that are related in some way and we call it a spicy double feature. Mm -hmm. They can be really related in literally any way. We've done like two movies that have uh, women characters that have blue bobs, like as the haircut, or it can be like West Anderson directed two movies. Uh, Our last review episode 110 was you hurt my feelings. And can you ever forgive me both? written by Nicole Holof Center, both mm-hmm. about women authors in New York City who are struggling with their latest work. So a lot of connections there. She's nice. wonderful. Um, yeah, she's excellent. She's too. really great. We both had a good time. And you can um, listen to us anywhere, and you can follow us on Twitter at Movie Mavens Pod. Check them out. I feel like you almost have, like, a spicy double here with, like, the uh, the elements of, like, water and earth with – Life Aquatic and Jumanji. I think you could like tie those together. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm really stretching it though. That's why we're sure. the big bucks. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, Palter, do you want to tell people where they can find you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So I I host a podcast, uh, Deep Dive Film School, with my co-host Adam as well. Um, and yeah, we've been doing it for a long time. Um, and yeah, check us out. We're in the middle of a Wong Kai, uh, Wong Kar Wai festival, mm. um, right now. Ooh. Um, and, uh, cool. yeah, come join us. I was happy to see you guys covering in the mood for love. I, I, I love oh, yeah. that movie so much. That was a big reason why we did the festival. Cause that's just such a, an incredible movie, but, uh, it's really cool to learn more about him and kind of what an indie rock star he was. Yeah. That's awesome. It's hard to do in a communist country, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's rad. Uh, Beth Ann. So I run with Leah Jones. She will rock you. We are a rock history podcast um, that covers 
artists in the past and also interview up and coming artists we do have some very very exciting guests coming on if they read their emails nice. um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the process of scheduling just take some time but we have that and then i have just launched a new podcast with some friends that are on this show um friends. it's called cinematic symphony it is where we take a look at composers from film we talk about one composer and then we do a round table about why they're good so this last one that just dropped today actually is Ludwig Gorenson. I actually talk about him. Um, the previous one was John Williams, where my friend Thomas Carter Rochester talks about it. And it's just it's just really good times, and it's just fun yeah. to talk about. Yeah, awesome to listen to as well. I um, On my YouTube, all of a sudden it came up like, so, you know, sneak behind the curtain here. I'm going to be covering Danny Elfman. And he showed there's a YouTube he just did where he talked about all of the music it's he did. So um, good. He did a sick that. video. Yeah. And it was yeah, so I good just that. to hear him talk about it. Just like how he came up with like what's this? Because he was just like literally asking a question. He was like, Oh, I'll just turn this <laughs> into a song. Like oh, uh, his energy is something else. So I'm excited to have that. It's like, oh, my research is done for me right here. I'm just gonna play I am this video. so excited for that. Like that's gonna be such a good episode. Yeah. He's the most from interesting from human alive. Show, let me know. If you I'm sorry. I said, if you need some clips from his show, The Hollywood Bowl, let me know. Oh, yeah. He's, you know what? He's fucking rich. It was ripped. so good. It his, was so, yeah, he is. <laughs> it's insanely rich. He's 70. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, he does not look 70 at all. No. Yeah. He looks like a 45 year old, like, punk kid yeah. from, like, Seattle. Recently divorced dad who's just working out too hard. But he's like 70. Yes. It's That's crazy. Like super, super smart. <laughs> I just, yeah. I just, can I just make a plug, Bethann? I'm going to be yes. on the show and I'm covering Justin Hurwitz, the guy who famously Ooh. was nominated for the score of Babylon. For Babylon. So. Oh. Babylon? Should be a good episode, I guess. Oscar nominated hey, Babylon? Maybe. That will be a good Oscar episode. Oscar nominated. Ben, you were with me. We watched the Oscars together. You know what heartbreak is in my world when Babylon doesn't win score. And it's and, uh, fucking tra travesty. And I, yeah, I, I didn't want you to have to live with that. So that's why I took it. I wanted to have, to have that on your team hanging over your head. Um, Jessica, anything you'd like to plug? Um, if you want to follow me at Sweet Pea Jess uh, on Instagram, uh tiny idea cakes i decorate cakes that's my jam so cool that's my Ooh. my creative nice. and then and then i just co-host on really cool podcasts like this one and there's one called your creativity that i do locally uh with a couple of friends so yeah nice yeah, Jessica made me cry um, on the 24 minutes of 824. <laughs> she Wait, she won. I cried uh, with you. It's okay. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't like a personal attack, even though no. I felt like it. But she had us watch uh, the movie Close. And I think I had to, like, delay us recording for, like, 15 minutes because I was just like, yeah, yeah it was just so bad. Like, I, I love that movie so much. I love it. But I was just, like, couldn't stop crying. So, But not um, bad in a bad way. Just no, really it's, hard. it's a fantastic movie. Breaking. Yeah, yeah, but that's my association with Jessica. I was like, who the <laughs> fuck made us watch this movie? <laughs> then I had to like come meet you and talk to you. I was like, why did you do this to me? <laughs> but, uh, I'm glad I'm glad you came on to, to talk about this. Uh, Tyler, would you mind handling our plugs? Oh, sure. Yeah, we're everywhere, man. Everywhere. Uh, at Three Films Pod, all the socials. I'm pretty sure all of them. I don't know. We never know what the intern's up to these days. Um, we've also got a website, it's threefilmspod.com, and uh, you can find merch and uh, you know our Patreon information there. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, there's a rebrand coming. Yeah, your friends at Three Films and a podcaster. We're kind of we're going to be kind of switching things up, so stay tuned. There'll be more information coming out. You'll you'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you about the format and you know the branding and all that stuff. So. I hope everyone sticks with us, but we're super excited about it. It's a really fun project and it's going to make for even better content for everyone that listens. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. I think that was perfect. Yeah. Stay tuned for the rebrand. We're all excited. Oh yeah. I think it's going to be good. Um, all right. Back to the draft. We're beginning round three. <sighs> Culture. It's like we should have like a card that goes across. We should, yeah. <laughs> That's why we need Matt here. We just need shirtless Matt to walk by <laughs> and, 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 and a bikini. Uh, round three. All right. Oh, geez. Um, there's a lot of great stuff still available. Um, I'm going to choose this one just because it's just I, I absolutely love this movie. Me and my family watch it at least once a year. It's on a God heavy rotation it. in our house. And um, <laughs> What do you? What, <laughs> I guess we'll see. I know the movie. Uh, I, I fucking know what you're time. taking. 
<laughs> um, you know, there's been a lot of Ben Stiller in this under 60 area, and uh, but I am no. absolutely going with Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Damn yes. it! Yes. Fuck! Oh, I man. knew you would. Amazing. I knew you would. That sucks. It really is a brilliant movie. <laughs> you know, he has, we already talked about Dodgeball and Long Came Polly, so obviously he has this stuff. This movie is so next level Ben Stiller for me. Not only does it make you want to go and do something, but it also is his most beautiful movie by a mile. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. He direct he directed it. Um, it's not totally a comedy. It's just absolutely charming. It's it's got weird, funny Ben Stiller moments in it uh, when he kind of uh, you know uh, kind of dazes off or whatever, and we get those kind of alternate reality uh, what's going on in his head. They're so funny, so ridiculous. But by the end of the movie. Uh, you just want you, you're just like feel like you're a better person and you want to go do something really cool. So every time we watch it, we just get so excited. Great Jose Gonzalez score as well. Yep. Like uh, just all nothing but good stuff. And again, something that is always annually watched at our house. Nice. I think that movie's really like also so had a lot of influence uh, on cinematography for like the next mm. ten years, wow. all the way down to like student films. Mm. Yeah, I hope so. I, I hadn't heard that, but so, I hope you're right. That's awesome. I think I think it did, but I think it also got people into, like, even knowing about cinematography, I would say. Yeah. That's Back a beautiful then. movie. I mean, it's got Sean Penn, Adam Scott, and Catherine Hahn as well. And, like, pa Patton Oswalt at the very end is, like, incredible. <laughs> um, it's it's such a, yeah, it's such a good cast. Solid pick. I adore that movie. I love it. And I adore you, Adam Palcher. But I knew uh, you were going to take it. I was Thank hoping I could sneak it. it out from under you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it actually kind of it actually kind of makes things a little easier for me, but because um, I was I was trying to go between that one and another movie that I absolutely love. Um, so you took the one that I I really wanted to pick, uh, but I'm going to take a movie from 2001. Uh, our our darling boy Heath Ledger, R.I.P. A Knight's Tale, sitting at 59 percent, just sneaking in there. Sneaking one of my all time in. favorites and. I remember, uh, I remember when it came out in high school. A lot of people talking about this movie and how much they hated it. And uh, I was like, I, I don't know, you guys. I think I don't know. I think you're wrong, Jessica. I think you're wrong. This movie rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jessica. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel like that was my first exposure to Paul Bettany for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, um, yeah, having Shannon Sossaman in there as yep. well. I mean, what a what a movie. Where, where are we at, Beth Ann? Yes. So, I found some interesting news on my research that I've just compiled within the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just and in. This, just in. This just <laughs> in. <laughs> Top Gun has a 58% Facts. on Rotten Tomatoes, but an 83% audience score. Yep. Oh. Crazy, right? So, I feel like I should but add that. Do it. So you, so, think you have the need for that'll speed. Get, that'll get you some votes for sure. Yeah. Well, that's that's all I do here is fans. Vote service. farmer. Yeah. Vote <laughs> farmer. <laughs> okay. That's my thing. <laughs> that's all I do. Hey, is listen. Give votes. The, yeah. the strategy I have just decided within the last hour is a nostalgic one, a fan one, a shit one, and <laughs> you know whatever other wild ones card I find. Yeah, that's, ex that's exactly right. So we're gonna do that. I'm surprised that that's that low. It's kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. I was too. The difference was pickup. what shocked me when I looked. Yeah. I mean, in Mavericks at 96 and 99%. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. wow. definitely like top five sweatiest movies of all time. So oh, that's, you sure. got that going for you. Oh, love yeah, it. Without a doubt. I like it sweaty. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> like that should be the next draft. Sweaty. <laughs> sweaty sweaty movies. movies. Oh, damn. Oh, that's a Fair phenomenal draft. Uh, I think Man on Fire might qualify for that one, too. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. Fuck. All right. What to take here? Um, <laughs> God damn. I love watching you struggle. It's great. Yeah, well, it's like it's like I don't want people <laughs> to take stuff that I want, but also it's like if they do, it helps make it easier, you know, to know what to take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's less mental pressure. Does it yeah. make it easier, though? I don't know. I think it I just know. makes you it's more stressed hard to say. out. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go with one that I recently put out on my Twitter as an underrated movie um, that I even thought about talking about in the new rebrand of the pod because it is a directorial debut as well. 
And so I'm going to go with Hot Rod. Because so I'm going to wow, take nice here. Pick. Yeah. Um, I love that movie. I feel like not enough people talk about it. 39%. Super funny. Um, and obviously, like, the Lonely Island guys are all behind it. So, yeah. I'm going to go with Hot Rod. And then maybe stay tuned because we might be talking about it. You might hear us talk about it next year. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Who knows? But, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Jessica, what are you taking with your third pick? This is a tough one. I really want, I want all of my, I want all my lists to come in. Uh, I'm going to go with the top number as well. So this one's 58%. Came out in 1997. I'm going with On Air. Ooh. Damn it. I really thought that was going to hang around until I could And and I'm doing it because I love the place where the swimming pool scene was filmed. (laughs) because i paranormal investigate and we've been out there like three times and it's just oh nice amazing space so it's out at the wendover airfield so that's my pick ethan this should have been your net your nick cage pick that this is this is i know that's a great one (laughs) yeah Yeah. i know you you can't have both good (laughs) i know john malkovich in that movie is just like elite tier villain status Mm -hmm. it's it's pretty unreal he's great like the entire concept of Con Air is so, like, elite, generally. It's just so incredible. I would actually advocate for a potential remake. I think we have a lot of good people that could, like, slot mm. into a movie like that. If, it, lots of stipulations, if it's practically done like Con yeah. Air was basically practically yeah. done. Um, but that's a great, really great pick, Jessica. I'm pretty mad. So, uh, good job. <laughs> good job. Great. That's, that's how you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, his line reading of like when the old dude's like, "What are you going? Or like, what are you doing?" It's like, "I'm going to save the fucking day." It's like, "Yeah, you are, man. Hell yeah, baby! Right, you are. <laughs> so good." Um, Annie, we are back to you. Third okay. pick. Okay, it's my turn again. I, I'm gonna go with Princess Diaries. Mm. Nice, nice. Sitting out of forty nine percent. Are you re- serious? I, I'm a little yes. shocked too. Who would do that? Man's offended. <laughs> Clearly the greatest film of my dog is named after Mia. Oh, Mia you Thermopolis. Hear this, Mia? 49. That Yeah. Nuts. Um, I I rewatched this like a few months ago uh just to see if it held up. And I would say that like all the all the moments that you hold dear to your heart definitely hold up. It's one of the greatest films of all time. I would stand yeah. on that. You'll get my wife's vote, is. that's for sure. So you you probably yeah. get my vote. You have Anne Hathaway on your team, so yeah, yeah, yeah you do. You have you, have you my got my vote. vote. <laughs> <laughs> I have Genovia's vote. Yeah, Genovia's vote. That's one that matters. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Damn it. I just saw a movie that I didn't have on my list yet. Fuck. Okay. Cool. Um yeah, Princess Diaries. Ethan, we're at oh, the turn. Boy. We made it back really, to you. I'm really up against the wall here. I don't I don't like I don't like the turn. I gotta be honest with you. It's not my favorite place to be in this draft. Cause now I draft twice and like, that's, you know, yeah. I gotta make my decisions early. That's, that's hard for me. Um, okay. So let's see, this could be pretty divisive, but it's a, it's a risk I'm going to take. It was, it is my number three overall pick and it's definitely a heart play, but I really enjoy it pretty unapologetically. And I, and I actually think it's quite good. 56% critic score. I'm going to choose Don't Look Up from Adam McKay, the second Adam McKay pick of this draft. I'm yeah. positive that was like not on anybody's radar. Um, I like that movie. I think Leo uh, plays an excellent role. I think Jennifer Lawrence is very good in that movie. Um, and I think, except for a few particular moments, I think Adam McKay does a, a really good job with um, with the commentary that he's trying to uh, convey especially with the Mark Rylance character I think it's great in that movie um, and it was the number one watched movie on Netflix for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks um, nominated for Oscars so like I feel like that's I feel like that checks the box in some way shape or form so that's my first pick and then I got one more and then I'm done right yeah oh boy 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 okay oh boy uh, I'm let's see I have National Treasure which is like a nostalgic action film I have Don't Look Up, which is like pretty Oscar heavy um, and like a little more filmy. So I feel like I got to thread the needle here and go with something a little bit different. I'm actually going to go with Tommy Boy, 1995. 
Uh, okay. Crew score forty one percent. I fucking uh, grew up on Tommy Boy. My dad and I watched it all the time. Um, Chris Farley, t- literally legendary status for Tommy Boy. Um, yeah. Incredible, just truly incredible SNL skit to movie type type stuff. So I'll uh, I'll take Tommy Boy to, to round out my draft. That's a really good pick. I I mean this in all seriousness. I didn't know if you had seen this movie before. Um, <laughs> Tommy Boy. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Oh if baby, you, I didn't all think you time. would pick it. But yeah, Tommy was All a great time. selection. That's My dad is movie. on Twitter. He's under an alias, so good luck finding him. But I'll DM him and he'll vote for me. So that's yeah, at least one. You, you locked in the <laughs> I'm locked in for one single vote. It's a great movie to get the dad. He wouldn't for, have it for you otherwise. I mean, <laughs> I mean, anytime, any like in any conversation or any podcast or anything, anytime somebody's like Tommy Boy, I'm like, oh god, what a great movie. And I feel like that's a pretty good barometer of like where you stand on that film. So yeah, yeah I like that one. Sweet. Well, let's see. You got, uh, yeah, National Treasure, Along Came Polly, Don't Look Up, and Tommy Boy. Just I'm pretty solid. fucking disappointed with my draft. I'm going to be honest with you. Are but you, really? you know what? Ben, I don't have Babylon. What else is there to say? <laughs> I don't know what else to do. That's fair. Totally fair. I, I, I did the best that. I could with the tools that I had. Okay. <laughs> I feel true. pretty good about what I was able to do, but come on. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, all right, Annie, back to you for your last selection. Okay, uh, you're this under one has 30. to be under 30. Well, I was doing some research, and I have some news to share as well. Ooh. I just, just out in. of curiosity, <laughs> looked up Spy Kids. Oh, thinking, no. Thinking, thinking, like, I don't, in my head, it'd probably be pretty low. Does anyone have any guesses around this? 12%. Be high. No clue. Ben pulled <laughs> It has it's a 93% what? Uh, tomato meter. <laughs> And then That's it has phenomenal. a can you, 47% audience score. Can you see That's what Spy crazy. Kids 3D Game Over is listed at on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, that's sure. a good one. My that's God, that was my jam when I was a kid. Didn't the didn't the VHS like come with the 3D glasses? Yes, it yeah, did. You bet it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> it <was> <laughs> that one qualifies. It's coming Damn in at 40, it! 45%. 45%. I didn't know that. 25% oh. um, audience oh. score. Wow. Great um, time. Great draft. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, so my pick's not Spy Kids. My pick is, I don't know how other people feel about this, but I grew up on this movie watching it with my sister and it has an 11% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it has like a 77% audience score. And that movie is Drop Dead Fred. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Hell yeah. That was on my list. Oh, nice. Yeah. I just... I grew up with it, and I think so if bad. people know it, they usually like it, but or they just yep. have never ever heard of it. Eleven yep. percent. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I, I, I bet that would be an amazing I mean. rewatch. I, I, I'm sure a lot of it doesn't hold up, but uh, I bet sure I bet it's sure pretty rough. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's it's got amazing. Phoebe Cates in it though. Yeah, and that's Carrie one you Fisher? might have to apologize for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, Carrie. Dang. Okay. All right. Drop it's, like, it's like her imaginary friend comes back when she's an adult, basically. Nice. Yes. <laughs> it's a good premise. Uh, yeah, I feel like I want to see it. And now. he is it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. And oh. when she takes pills, he goes away. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sad. All right. It's really uh, a movie about schizophrenia. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, let's see. In Big Pharma. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Yeah, great follow-up pick to... great, yeah exactly well sorry Annie I want to recap yours Life Aquatic okay. which is just mind blowing to me I didn't even like yeah I don't know that I even thought about this being like qualifying I love this movie so much uh, yeah Jumanji, Princess Diaries and Drop Dead Fred it's a solid lineup definitely better than Ethan so great oh job oh my god <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> fucking straight <laughs> left and right <laughs> um Jessica, how are you going to wrap up your team oh, since you have the one so we all want? Oh, hard. I know. I just really like my list. So I'm going to stick with my, like, above in that same genre. I'm going to go for 41%, 1995, Billy Madison. Hell yeah. Nice. nice. Very nice. Because, I I, I because the, that, like, whole era, I can watch those movies over, over again. I just think they're super funny. I mean, I'm I'm with you, and this is Ethan. I didn't know if you had seen Tommy Boy because I knew like 
you love uncut gems, but hadn't experienced a lot of Sandler's comedies. Yeah. And so I was just like, well, there's no way he's seen Tommy with it. There's no way he's taken that, but <laughs> that's, that's the one that made him huge though. Yeah. Billy Madison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I briefly considered before this draft going with an all Adam Sandler lineup, which is <laughs> entirely possible. Um, but, but I thought that was, I thought that was like strategy. a really hard stick to the bit. You know what I mean? It was it's a little yeah. too tough in there. <laughs> okay, some grown ups. There's some there's stuff out there, dude. It is a bummer, but yeah, you could you could probably pick like ten teams like with yeah, all this yeah. stuff in there. Hold this yeah, draft could be just Sandler movies. Yeah. Like yeah. Shout out again, our guy Matt. Uh mixed nuts definitely would have qualified. It falls in at thirteen percent, which is <laughs> such a bummer. <laughs> really? I didn't know it's that low. Right? Yeah, thirteen. That is crazy. Ethan, I saw Cranks was at like 11 percent or something i can't believe you didn't yeah, take it christmas it's, with the cranks. Look, christmas with the cranks is <laughs> at five percent the last I, time that i drafted that movie i got obliterated on social so i just i had to peel it back a little bit i came for you in uh, my heart that was a pick that was a number one pick. round pick but how it's psychotic a, would that have been to be like number one number christmas one. With the cranks. <laughs> it's how i knew you wanted to win this draft yeah. Unhinged. Ethan, <laughs> that was the day I, you learned you had a bad opinion. I did have beaches on my list for you at forty three percent. I noticed. So. I noticed beaches. I thought of you yeah. and Ben. I was like, oh, beaches on the list. Maybe I'll steal it. Who knows? Beaches. But I did two Wong Fu for my feel good. So you still got time, Ethan. <laughs> you can make it happen. I can make it happen. <laughs> um. All right. Well, we just talked about. Let's see here. Oh, Jessica, I'm gonna wrap. Yes, yeah, so you have Hook. Tu Wong Fu, Con Air, and Billy Madison. That is a solid lineup. Uh, yeah, that's a great selection for all those. Okay, good. You didn't say it. What? Well, it's. I it's thought you were just going to run through every single person's uh, lineup it's and just implied. be like, yeah, it's better than Ethan. It's Thank you. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's just, like, I don't need to repeat it every time, do I? <laughs> <laughs> See previous lists. Comments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, since we did just talk about someone that is uh, on my Crushmore Mountain, uh, Miss Anne Hathaway, I'm going to fill out my team with someone else. Um, one of the first people on my Crushmore Mountain here, uh, Miss Rosario Dawson, and I'm going to take Josie and the Pussycats. Mm-hmm. Coming nice. in at 53%. Uh, just so, I mean, wonderful movie. I love Jour and just everything about this movie. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have that. I have that and hot rod and the room and my first selection oscar nominated brad pitt starring directed by damien chazelle <laughs> babylon so very excited about my picks masterpiece. masterpiece on the list i don't want to say it but again felt implied <laughs> so yeah babylon. uh bet then how are you rounding out your team well see i screwed myself because i found the film that i was so excited to talk about but as a 35 and i haven't chosen Oh. My thir- oh, under no. 30. It's true. You and Paltrow have your under 30s left. Uh, so That's the only two left, though? Yeah, just you two. Cool. Surely we do not have... Well, you're doing an under 32, right? So I can talk yeah. about it. Home Alone yeah. 2 is a 35% of Rotten Tomatoes, and I want to know the names of every critic. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm going to booby trap their house, and they're going to learn. <laughs> Brick are to you, the are face. You, That's exactly right. Like, are you the Home Alone two is better than Home Alone crowd? One hundred percent. Facts. One hundred percent. Okay. okay. You're not movie. Ben. No, no, I'm not. I, I can't <laughs> can't Yikes. mess with the original. Yeah. I mean, it's a you great movie. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad, about. but yeah. Look, I, I mean, had a talk anyway. boy. I love the talk boy. I love Home Alone two. New but... York City and oh. Tim Curry. Yeah, no, I like it. It's just not as good. That's so that's yeah. 30, oh. that's thirty five percent. That's thirty five percent. But it yeah. has to be under thirty, right? But hers is gonna be under yeah. thirty. Yeah. Yeah. That was just to talk about how it's it doesn't deserve that. Gotcha. Yeah. Which which leaves me with two films. One I like and watched as a kid, but no one's gonna know. And one that's absolute dog shit, but is such a classic <laughs> for knowing being dog shit. Oh, <sighs> dang it. Don't take mine. <laughs> the real Sophie's choice here. Yeah. All right. I guess well, I'm going to go. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's a really bad I... joke. Oh, I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll do the one that's just such dog shit, but it's good, but it's bad and it's good. And yeah. that's Batman and Robin. Yeah. 
<laughs> Love wonderful it. choice. Well wonderful yeah. choice. If you're wondering what it was going to be, it was going to be Ernest Goes to Jail. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was going Dang to be. Dang it, that's a good one. I mean, either Dude, does. Yeah. Literally, as a kid, I was obsessed with that film, and I really don't know why. Because, like, he got electrocuted and shit. Like, that's not kid-friendly. <laughs> but for some reason, I'm like, play it again. <laughs> I think it's a great pick. We covered that on the pod as well. Uh, we did like a recast for that, but I think Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman are well, there for the yeah. right movie. They're having a great yeah. time. I think yeah. you know, they're tons of fun to watch. Um, All time like suit up scenes lines. as well. So many corny yeah. lines. It's like, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger making ice puns is something we didn't know the world needed. Yeah. Love it. You know what I, I mean? Agree. Everyone needed to chill out for sure. And like George Clooney oh, was just you. there for the check. He was just there to get a paycheck and he was out. Like he like, checked out on that film. <laughs> and I love it. I love My boy's it. still cashing that check. And I mean, it's just those notorious nips, those bat nips, you know? The nips, the bat nips. That's right. It was a, a rough call for sure. But. Oh, well, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, a couple superhero movies, Bat and Robin and Eternals. From the MCU, Ethan, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a good movie. Uh, Night at the Museum. Top five MCU, no big deal. Whatever. And Top Gun, <laughs> which again is just absurd that it qualifies here, but that's a wonderful selection. A solid so. one. Tyler, back to you. I am faced with a difficult choice myself. Um, oh, hmm. 10 Things I Hate About You from 1999 is only rated 56% on Rotten Tomatoes. And that's appalling. So what I'm going to pick it, even though there's another one, there was actually still a lot that I really like that I can't believe are left. I still can't believe life aquatic got stolen from me, but <laughs> you're, you're going, you're going Tammy. double ledger. Wait, double ledger. Oh, I just double play. Play. Yeah. nobody goes double ledger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. That was an outline that you couldn't do that. 71% <laughs> for 10 things. Whoa. You saw wow. so 71%. Yeah, I thought two, so. two strikes, Tyler. Uh, you're walking the uh, line again, okay. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. I can walk this one back. I can take the other one I was going between, um, and that's totally cool because, uh, you know, double ledger is just too much. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Adam. I didn't, I hadn't thought about that. Um, we talked about him a little bit ago. It's the Sandman. Um, I've recently become obsessed with the sport of golf, uh, so I'm going to go with Happy Gilmore. Nice. Sitting at fifty-seven percent, I think. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what what's rated yeah, anything. Let's apparently, go for it, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and that'll that'll round it out for me. Nice. All right, Happy Gilmore. I look. I come on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what I don't is know. happening? I, I don't oh, know. Man. To be fair, just pulling them up live times. <laughs> I found this website that had all the movies. Uh, whatever you could like sort it by Rotten Tomatoes ranking. Yeah. So who knows mm, when they got their data or right. whatever. So I was just going off that list. So it looks like an apologies. HTML site from 1997. You get a bunk. <laughs> I, <laughs> I <laughs> that list. Yeah. Well, I mean, we so can take people, Are we letting this one slide? It, it is close. To two it is slides in one team. That's true. We don't have to. It's a question. Well, it's, it's fine. closer than ten things. I can ten do it. I can do another one. I have more. I have lots of picks. I can take <laughs> Super Troopers. It's 36%. I'm just curious what else you're going to pick. So, yeah. Super Troopers. Hell yeah. All right, that's fair. That's what's, solid. Ethan, that's what's that rated? Choice. Will you check for me? <laughs> yeah, let me pull that up in it's real 98. time. 98. <laughs> 99% perfect. 36%. Super qualifies. All right. I also should That's a great pick. So. Well done. Yeah. I think we helped you get to a really good pick, Tyler. I feel good about it. <laughs> I, really I, I think it. that's the best. Good, good teamwork, team everyone. Effort. Yeah. We did it. We worked out. <laughs> everyone just feels bad for me. I always lose. Like They're trying to help me out. <laughs> this will be the one you win with like flying colors. Oh, wow. <laughs> All of us are going to be like, damn it. I mean, honestly, like recapping his team, Step Brothers, Empire Records, A Knight's Tale, and Super Troopers. Like that's pretty that's legit. a good list. That's a solid pretty lineup good. right there. So yeah, I... I wouldn't be surprised if we see Tyler in the finals for sure. So yeah. Awesome picks. Um, all right, Paul Trevor, finally, we made it back. We got your under 30. Feel free to talk, talk through it. You're the only one left. What, 
What's yeah. going on? Um, well, giving Tyler three chances to potentially take something <laughs> that I wanted. I was like, uh, I uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, come on, just take it. Uh, luckily, you did not take it. I was worried you're going to take this. I'm doing a, ma- a last minute swap and okay. going with a nostalgia pick. Um, and I'm going Sandlot at 58%. Oh, Ooh. Um, I, oh I, I, that's great. I grew up in a baseball family. It's just, it's a super nostalgic movie. I love baseball. Uh, you know, it was shot where we, you know, in Utah, obviously mm-hmm. as well. Um, but just, just a feel good, great movie. Um, and again, on annual rotation at our house. I will say I love that movie, but it's at, uh, it's above thirty percent, and your pick now is the one that's under thirty oh, percent. Oh no, I get so that two. wasn't your pick. I only have three. I get two. We get one more pick. We're all just picking four. So you yeah, got, oh, we're only just, picking four. Yeah, so you just got oh. one pick left. Yeah, and so you're just and under thirty. Up. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dang showing it. up right. as a sixty-five percent, also. So is it really? Oh, um, right. I yeah, because I was looking at wow. that one earlier today. Two strikes. Join in the me, Paul. <laughs> join us dang it oh i thought i had that one in the back all right well shit all of these suck um, <laughs> look Pulcher, i'll vamp for a second i'll give you one second i just wanted to say no. ben do you have a sticker that says written and directed by damien chazelle on your podcast equipment it's, it's just off off no, camera here uh, it's barely off camera it's yeah. on his car okay that's yeah. all yeah. Yeah, it's actually tattooed have the on his back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does have the movie Babylon in his rotation, though. So oh I do, I do. Yeah. yeah. Which one is more um, important at this moment? All right. Well, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go. There's a couple here. I could, I could definitely uh, reach for something that has a big cult following. Um, and this one, you know what? Since I didn't get Sandlot as my nostalgic pick, <laughs> do it. Um. Uh, I'm gonna wheeze the juice and uh, pick yeah. Casino Man. Hell yeah! <laughs> I, love it. Wow. I love it. Hell yeah! This movie rules. Great choice. It's it, it, it is what it is. Uh, if you if you watch it, uh, Sean Austin is actually a horrible person in this movie. I know he's one <laughs> yeah. of the discoveries, but he's like. He he does all. He's the Zach Morris of like this movie, you know, who's just like the <laughs> shitty, the sh- the shitty guy that everyone thought was cool. Uh, in this movie, he's actually supposed to be a nerd, but he does all these horrible things to his friends. <laughs> but you know, you get some Pauly Shore in there. You get Brendan Fraser. I'll go in Cedar Man. Fourteen <laughs> percent. Crazy. Yeah. That's a great pick. Great um, stuff. I yeah. almost chose Boondock Saints because that was the one that had a following of people mm. that I might have gotten some more votes, mm. but yeah, didn't go yeah. With that one. That's a that's a recent watch for me for the first time in Cedar Man, um, and I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, I will say though, I think we'll segue into some honorable mentions that we didn't get to pick. And when you said you didn't get the Sandlot, I thought you were going to go with Mighty Ducks, which is mm-hmm. sitting at twenty three percent. I was kind of surprised how low that is. Yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah. I consider that one too. Um, yeah, maybe I should have done that one. I don't know. No, I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> it's a great pick. Um, my other one under 30, I don't know if anyone here has seen it, but it's called the uh, Kung Pao. Uh, have, <laughs> yeah. Enter the Fist. Enter the fist. Yes! Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I, I love that movie, and I'm just glad to know there's more people that have seen it. Um, do any of you guys have any that were under 30% that you were thinking about? I have two. I have 13 Ghosts, which was at 18%. Hmm. Okay. That's one of my favorite horror films of all time. I would actually love to see that one redone, even though I like how it is. Um, And then I have one other, and it's at 0%. Whoa. And it's staying alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's bold. I'm sorry. I really really love that movie. I've actually never even seen Saturday Night Fever, but I love the sequel. Whoa! I mean, you could have had John Travolta on your team. That's, that's I could have something. had John Travolta on my team. But could have had are. it. Uh, yeah. Are. Speaking of, yeah, it's sequels for Travolta movies. I've only seen Grease too. I've never seen Grease, and I yes. was like, was going to take that one as well. Look at us being awesome. Travesty. Uh, Ethan, do you have some under thirty that you were going to take? Any uh, mentions? Yeah, I had a couple. Obviously, we talked about Christmas with the Cranks earlier. That's at five percent. Um, yeah. Sleeping with Why? the Enemy. I thought I thought could have been a good one. Um, that's that's a pretty good movie. Uh, and then Project X is at 29%. Oh, uh, yeah. That's nice. that's a ridiculous, absurd movie, but it's also kind of fun. Yeah. No, uh, I, that, damn it. I would have chose that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that one. Matthew Broderick and sign, yeah. sign I mean, language 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. You had the last pick. I guess you could technically change it. <laughs> yeah, you, sure. didn't my, you didn't read my final finalized. team there, Ben. <laughs> oh, that's true. I have the recap. <laughs> yeah. uh, Man on Fire, Wet Hot American Summer, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and then Encino Man slash Project X. Uh, there again. <laughs> so it's a great pick. See you in the finals, Fuzz. Yeah, I love it. Um, <laughs> Annie, Beth Ann, Tyler, did any of you guys have any that were under 30 that you didn't pick? I had some great under 30s that were just horrible movies and no one would vote for me. Nice. Including like good. 50 Shades of Grey, mm. Left mm. Behind starring uh, Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Yeah. <laughs> that Ooh. movie I went to go see in theaters. And Whoa. let me tell you, the soundtrack... <laughs> sounded like someone recorded it on audacity and said here you go here, <laughs> here here's a floppy Oof. disk of oh, the man. music that you requested oh. <laughs> so that that was a that was a interesting popcorn movie nice yeah i, you, I didn't have any under 30 any others so i was really like banking it all on drop dead fred nice um <laughs> but i had a ton more under 60 and the only other one i was like really um thinking about saying was Nacho Libre. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. yeah, let's talk about the ones under 60. Can, I think yeah, I felt I, like this is going to have a lot of options. Can here. I say one more under 30 real quick? You can add an X-Men franchise film. You can add Dark Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Could have been worth something, huh? Could have. Yeah. Okay. Could have Nobody seems to have about that. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. Has anyone seen, um, <laughs> anyone seen Smoke and Aces? That's the yes, first time I saw no. Ryan Reynolds, and oh, you know, yeah, the movie is good. whatever. But I remember thinking, like, "Damn, this guy's awesome!" Like, this movie sucks, but I don't know. His performance is really good, and I just remember, that, that's always stuck out to me because I remember, um, I think I read a review and they were talking about his performance in it and how you know he really shined outside of the movie. But um, yeah, yeah. that was under thirty percent when I looked at it. It's sitting right at thirty percent <laughs> now, so. To keep it on theme, I'm going to talk about this one. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, it is actually a solid dumb movie, though. Like it's it's kind yeah. of like it's, yeah. it's super fast paced, and um, yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is great. It's, there's a the cast is huge too. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a huge cast in there. Um, right after I took Hot Rod, I think shortly after that, that we talked about Princess Diaries, and I started looking at Gary Marshall, and I realized I missed out on taking Orange County. Uh, which is just one of my oh. favorite comedies um, that would have qualified. There's some others that, like, for me, the big ones that I was going between was uh, Spaceballs, yeah. uh, Cable Guy, and Cable Speed guys. Racer. Those are probably okay. some of my top ones that I wanted to take. Um, and it was between Jennifer's Body and Josie and the Pussycats at the last pick, but I went with Josie for um, good old Rosario. But yeah, those are some of mine that were just, like, almost made it. If we had gone out of the round, some of those would have yeah. gotten taken. What about you guys? Anyone else have any other honorable mentions they want to talk about? I've got a, I've got a ton. Let's uh, do Spaceballs, it. Me too. Spaceball was definitely on there. Um, Sandlot, of course, everyone knows yep. that by now. <laughs> um, Darren Aronofsky's The Fountain, I think, is an Ooh. absolutely underrated mm. movie. That um, if if I if I had if this was a ten pick draft, then I definitely would have had that in there. <laughs> um, the amazing mockumentary, Drop Dead Gorgeous, um, I think oh my God. deserves a lot of credit. So good. Three Amigos was on there. I was like, what? Oh yeah. wow. Um, uh, Last Action Hero, which I think is actually one of Arnold's best movies. Uh, Return to Oz, the great creepy kids movie. Yeah. Uh, Wanderlust was on there. That is the uh, I that like that the movie. Paul Rudd one. That one's good. Um, let's see. Die Hard with a Vengeance, the one with Sam Jackson. Amazing movie. Uh, Armageddon, uh, another Michael Bay movie. Tron Legacy, just for the score alone, you could have gotten some points with that one. Um, so that's a couple of them. Nick Cage, The Weatherman is another one that I love. Uh, that Mm -hmm. no one really likes. That's a Gore Verbinski one, but it's an underrated Nick Cage. I might get kicked out of my house for not taking drop dead gorgeous i didn't realize that qualified Uh-oh. i should have and <laughs> I, definitely would have taken, I would have taken yeah. that over josie for sure that's a wonderful yeah. wonderful choice hilarious yeah uh, have, anyone else yeah go for I have it a big, i have a big list uh the mummy six i guess my, i guess it doesn't technically qualify it's a 60 percent, but yes. i thought it's close enough um kicking and screaming both 1995 noah bomback version and mm-hmm. the uh 2005 um will ferrell uh version which is just iconic another comedy that i grew up with two very different Um, movies though (laughs) very different films um saw the very first saw 50 percent 
in time, which I, I do think is underrated. Actually, I love uh, that movie. Sh- shot by Roger Deakins, which is a, just hmm. an unreal, weird movie. I didn't know that. that. Um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, fifty percent. Mm-hmm. Under the Silver oh, yeah. Lake. Sp- speaking of a twenty four, that's a fifty nine percent. Mars Attacks is a Tim Burton is at fifty six percent. That bastard. Mm-hmm. Um, you could have had Star Wars: <laughs> The Rise of Skywalker, fifty two percent. That Whoa. I mean, I would have felt bad for you, but you could have had it. Um, <laughs> had it. <laughs> and then, like, you could have, like, The Gray Man, 46%. The Gray Man is terrible, but it's got a 90% audience score. Like, that's wow. that's mm-hmm. worth something there. Um, Tusk is great. And then the last one I'll say is uh, Deepwater, the, mm. the erratic thriller that could have been so good, and it was just so bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> movie that still haunts me. That was at 36%. I almost did Tusk because I love the premise of how that movie came to be. It was literally Kevin Smith on a yeah. podcast. Yeah. And he so heard sick. of someone who came across this ad that said, you can live in this mansion just dress as a walrus. <laughs> I mean, what I a price to pay. <laughs> what a what price, a price to, pay. to pay. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Anyone else a have any other honorable mentions? Ben. Yeah, I, we covered I, Blade. We covered? That's oh, yeah. sitting at... Yes, uh, Blade sitting at fifty five percent. I thought that's kind of oh, crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and Kingpin sitting at fifty three percent. I can't believe that one hasn't been brought up. Or no, forty nine percent. Excuse me. My list says fifty three, but Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> You're just making up. It <laughs> yeah, I can't be trusted. But Titanic. Those are a couple of stuck out today. I guess I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you if you wanted to go with something more current, like talking about like Twitter votes and stuff, you could have picked up like. Fast X or Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Those are I both under sixty percent, which is yeah. also know. the first Fast and Furious. There's probably a few of them that qualify, but the first one also qualifies. Yeah, Phantom Menace for that Star Wars vote maybe better than Rise of Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it though? Probably. I don't know. An- another recent <laughs> Brad Pitt meme. movie, Bullet Train. Could have taken that. So mm. mm-hmm. big Brad Pitt guy, Ben. Big fan. My first <laughs> yeah. pick. I mean, what can I say? It's my first pick. Only in, only in three hour movies, so. though. Yeah, only in three hour <laughs> movies. Yeah. You can't question that. You know, first pick. Sweet. I could I did consider this is the last thing I will say, I yeah, swear yeah. to God. I did consider taking all good things to have Ryan Gosling on my roster, but that movie is bad. And so I just couldn't I couldn't do it to myself. But it was there. It was thirty five percent. It was out in the open. I don't even think I have heard of that movie. Uh, you don't need to watch it. It's not good. All right. Good I'll to save know. that one. Good to know. <laughs> like, I, I, am, really... I will do anything for Ryan, but not that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to have animation on my list, but I didn't yeah. want it to be like like a like a part two or something. So I have Nomeo and Juliet on my list. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> is. Because I love that movie. It's, it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I actually like that. Yeah. I got yeah, taken to the theater by my mom to go see that. I was like, it's oh, it's actually so wasn't bad. Yeah. I also have My Girl, which is at 50%. Oh, that's great. Prince nice. of Thieves at 51%. Mm. Oh, um, And one. I'm, guys, I'm a fan of all of the Pirates films. Nice. <laughs> and oh. especially At World's End and Dead Man's Chest, which are at 53 and 44% respectively. So. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. And Newsies is 39%. Which, which is a tragedy. It is a tragedy. It is. Rent was also at like 40 something. What? So that Jeez. was definitely in play for me because I think that's like one of the best musicals. Yeah. Ever written, that, so. Especially that was put onto like cinema form. Mm-hmm. And speaking of animation, the new, I mean, both of them do, but the new Super Mario Brothers movie is 58%. Yeah. Mm, really? Kind of like, yeah. Yeah. Tough. Uh, I would have taken the, another what's one. What's the audience score on that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious what the audience score is. Let's see. I'll 90, tell you my daughter's audience score. 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same, with all the time. Same with my oh, kids, man. but I hated that movie. I had really? to buy it. I bought, <laughs> no. like, I had, we went to Target and they saw it, and I, I was like, yeah, I'll buy it for you. Like, it had to be done. Yeah. 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 Can't, can't leave without That's it. Awesome. <laughs> That's cute. Nice. Man of Steel. Nobody took Man of Steel. There's a oh, hive out there terrible. for that movie. Or Batman v Superman. I don't like it. I'm just saying. It's out Zack there. Zack Snyder is so overrated. <laughs> <laughs> so you're excited for Rebel Moon, Paul True. Big no. fan. <laughs> <Big band. laughs> and, and Blue Beetle. I will yeah. say I will say his Justice League was better than Joss Whedon's. I'll give him that. That's true. Max. Love to hear it. But if you give someone seven hours to make a movie, you know, <laughs> yeah, right? you'll probably be pretty <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. You gotta be able to tell the story in seven hours. But. Sweet. 
Well, yeah. Thanks everyone for coming on. This was awesome. Um, we will get the, the tournament going shortly and he's got a buy on the first round cause she is the defending champ. So congrats to her on that. Can we see, <laughs> can we see everyone's final list, Ben? Is that something we can? You can share? Yeah. Let me, uh, let me pull that up. Here we go. So this is what everyone's got. Adam. Yeah. Man on fire. Well, American summer, secret life, Walter Midian and Ceno man. I mean, I don't know. I think everyone's got some solid picks here. Yeah. Kind of trails off there at the end, but for oh the my most God. part, like, <laughs> that mean, seventh yeah. round gets pretty brutal out there, huh? Yeah, one through six, great job. You guys did wonderful, <laughs> but yeah, kind of really dips off there at the end. So, yeah, these are our final picks. Like round three was the only one without any of the under thirty percent, but um, I still just loved everyone's reaction to Jessica taking hook. I think we all, we all just so mad, but we all wanted it. That's a great pick. I think you have everyone's vote now because of that. So mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks again, everyone for coming on. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye everyone. shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <clears throat> hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? No. Oh. You're talking about shenanigans, right? Put those away. <laughs> <laughs>